Bing. Bing bong. What do you want to say to Joe Byron right now? Sup, baby? <laughs> Take me out to dinner. <laughs> I love how we're like, knowing we're going to post this a month later. Not, like, like one person's still going to find this joke funny. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's fine if we're doing outdated memes, because at least they happened. Like, yeah. if we were from the future, saying future memes, then no one would get it. But, yeah, no, we're, like, really bad at uploading. Yeah. The, the episode that we recorded on Halloween... We said it would be posted probably sometime mid-November. Yep. We posted it, like, last week. And we have the last episode recorded. Well, obviously, if you're watching this... It's up. Then it's up. Hopefully, unless we, like, screw up so bad that we post 25 before 24. Yeah. Probably won't happen. It might. It might? It might. We've had a lot of things happen on this podcast. Yeah. But the last episode is good, so you can watch that. But now we're here at this episode in our new set again it's so snazzy and we, we have got, like the aquarium we got an aquarium <laughs> whoa i'm an aquarium <laughs> um we also got zenitsu zenitsu yeah. we got we got kakuin we got spider-man spider-man we got levi and we got levi on my shirt we'll yeah. zoom into my shirt ha, anyone listening to this who who knows what i'm talking about batman batman yeah spider-man i'll show you after you'll find it funny Oh. I, I know at least one person will understand One second, this. let me change the, the mic setting. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's on a good setting. Solid. Okay. Good we shit. don't need to cut that. We should probably turn up the game. Boom. We're Gucci. Ah! So what did you think of No Way Home? No spoiler Way Home. Spoiler-free reaction. Er, you know what? We're going to talk about spoilers. Because I feel like anyone that's wanted to watch it has watched it by now. Yeah. And if you haven't, then skip. Yeah. So I, fast I, I, forward. I, I, I was gonna say like skip to this time, then we get added on screen. But like, yeah, we'll probably gonna. I, I'll try to do it. If I forget, I'm sorry. Do it, do it. So, so what do you think? Loved it when home? everyone died. Spider Man died. M J died. They all died. Yeah, I like when like the universe imploded on mm -hmm. itself. Well, that actually kind of did happen. Yeah, a little yeah. Bit. <laughs> no, but it was good. I liked it. Just didn't understand the ending. Like Not what really. happened to the villains. It was villains. a bit confusing. Like. I don't know. I feel like a lot is still left to like be unpacked in Doctor Strange's multiverse of madness. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. So he's gonna like alternate versions of himself are gonna be fighting himself. Yeah. That's so it's meta. Be dope. It's pretty sick. It's it's like metaverse version of him is gonna show up, just Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm a G Pie. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to smoke meat? <laughs> Would you like to smoke meat? <laughs> Instead of it being called the multiverse, they should call it the metaverse. That's what the multiverse is called in the Doctor universe. Doctor Strange and the metaverse <laughs> of madness. It's just the Facebook knockoff version. It's just, just on Facebook Live and mm -hmm. you're just like scrolling through random live streams of random people you don't know and you just see Doctor Strange and the metaverse of madness. There's just like a hundred Doctor Strange in one room, all like fighting in like a VR, like VR thing. Well, just... like, like that one girl and... Mark Zuckerberg are just narrating over it. Mm -hmm. In the multiverse, so much things can be done. Metaverse. And, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Nah, no, Spider-Man was good. I it liked was good. It. When Andrew Garfield showed up, yeah. everyone went crazy. Mm -hmm. It was dope. I knew he was going to show up. I literally yelled out loud, It's going to be Andrew Garfield! I know it! <laughs> As soon, yeah, as soon as it, it was Spider-Man, I turned to my sister. Like, it, it was Spider-Man with a mask on. Yeah, I was yeah. like, it's going to be one of them. It has to be. I was scared the whole movie. I was genuinely like... I'm like, it's 50-50 they show up or not. Nah, it was like 100% they were No, but, like, but what if they didn't? Because you really had, like, you had reassurance, but you really didn't know. If they didn't, there would be riots. There would. like 100%. Like, you knew they were going to show up, but, like, what if they didn't? Like, I was convincing myself they weren't in case they didn't, so then I wouldn't be mad. Wow, you're like MJ. I know. If you, <laughs> well, if you expect disappointment, you then won't be you won't. Wow, that's deep. I know. I'm 14 and this is deep. Yep. What was that thing we were saying before? But, nah. Oh. When Andrew Garfield showed up, I was so excited. I was low-key more excited for him than Tobey Maguire. I threw up when Tobey Maguire came on screen. I just, I, I threw up. Nah, I like Tobey Maguire. Like <laughs> Random kid in the fourth grade. <laughs> uh, this shout is out like, to, like, episode, like, five or whatever. It, no, we've talked about this multiple times on yeah, the podcast. Yeah, but, like, we really dove deep into Stephen. Oh, I, should we bleep out it? Nah, screw it. We really dove <laughs> deep into Stephen throwing up that one time. <laughs> I remember it was either him or someone else when we were talking about them throwing up in class, and I said I would bleep the name in editing, and then I just didn't. So. Oh well. 
Bing bong. <laughs> just don't do dumb things around us, and then we won't talk about you on our podcast. Fair enough. Because we will say your name. We got like three listeners either way, so mm-hmm. what, what are you going to do? Get we blackmailed got, by three people? We got my dad. We got... Raspa. Can I say his you name? You say his name. We got Raspa. <laughs> <laughs> and we got someone else. Texas. Does sure. Texas still listen? I have no idea. We, we got a... Not a Mongolian. What was it? Taiwanese. Like I said, that we got a Mongolian. <laughs> <laughs> no, like the more I think about it, I swear it's just people using a VPN in a random location. Probably because like the states and Colombia are the only ones I'd understand because I know my grandfather listened to one podcast and was laughing only because we were laughing. He didn't understand a word. <laughs> of what it was. And I find that adorable and at the same time so funny. That's so nice. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> Sup, dude. But yeah, they're probably just people changing their IP address, mm-hmm. but. So Gucci. I feel like no, I feel like our commentary and like sort of humor is directed for Mongolians. Like I feel like yeah. they like we don't have any Mongolian listeners, but I know like Mongolian warlords from like the fifth century. The they would love, love this. They would love this. Podcast. They'd love the the Bing like, Bong jokes. Yeah, <laughs> like like all the memes we quote. Oh, they would love that. When we know? talk about crypto, like <laughs> imagine explaining to a Mongolian warlord from the fifth century you know, cryptocurrency and NFTs. You'd be like. <laughs> just like Gary V. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know when you're ripping people limb from limb? Imagine that. Yes. <laughs> the warlord's just like, I understand perfectly what yes. you're saying. Imagine that, but with a monkey drawing. <laughs> and you don't rip it rim- limb from limb, and instead you buy it. But using. what if I just do right-click and save it as a JPEG? <laughs> the Mongolian <laughs> warlord doesn't know anything about modern technology. But still but knows you can right-click. <laughs> That'd be the funniest thing. <laughs> oh, that'd be so stupid. You know what I'm imagining? You know that, you know Night at the Museum? Yeah. That- <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. Just like you how just- they don't know anything but Nothing. go with it. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh. the best is like, I, I talk about crypto a lot and it's kind of bad because half the time people don't care at all. Like I could be talking about crypto and be like, but it's not real. I'm like, I know, but... I make money off of it sometimes. <laughs> More like lose money off yeah. of it. <laughs> How's Doge doing? Doge is doing bad. Ethereum is doing good. They cancel each other out, okay. so I'm neutral. That's good. That's good. Um, but what's it called? <laughs> this one kid at my school tried to mine Bitcoin on a school laptop and it exploded. <laughs> the inside of the computer was running so much that it blew up and started smoking. Okay, please explain it to me because I, I don't know. I, I don't know how mining works. You t- install a thing and it starts mining bitcoin and the computer gets very hot and you uses a lot of internet and you get money but where do you where does it i don't know it, it, i don't get it can you get it from playing minecraft like is it like finding diamonds it's like that. like you'll find a coin and it just says you'll find a block and it says bitcoin on it sure except okay. you're not mining it's like you install a miner is it like cookie clicker? It's like cookie clicker, except you don't click. It's like you I install. I feel like we thing. have no idea what we're talking <laughs> Not about. Not at all. Not at all. I don't know how to explain Bitcoin mining in the slightest. But he 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 did it, and then Good for him. Yeah. He also bought a pizza. You know, how like Domino's takes Bitcoin or something like that. I did not. Or well, but... they, they do. He bought a pizza with a bit of a Bitcoin, and that pizza basically costed him five hundred bucks. Why did he do that? Because. He had Bitcoin and he wanted a pizza, so he bought it with the Bitcoin, but then the Bitcoin went up a lot. Oh, I see. So if he didn't yeah. buy that pizza, then his... Bit- so like the eight ninety nine or whatever amount the pizza was. That's so... I know, it hurts to think about. How can people use Bitcoin as like their main form of currency? Like, you know, there's a Hispanic country that they're only... Like El Salvador? The- Isn't it because like the whole currency was like so... The- but what's so the word inflated they, or like they used american dollars but it was very broken american dollar system like it was american dollars but it wasn't considered american dollars by like anyone else Does that make <laughs> sense? so they, imagine using monopoly money and then you and your friends use monopoly money but it really holds no value like to anyone else imagine okay. you me and the dude at the convenience store only pay and like get back monopoly money okay yeah and then cool. everyone around you is like no that's not a valid means so then they're like no nah, let's just switch to bitcoin <laughs> so then the government bought a crap like, i'm probably explaining this super wrong and it's probably not right in the slightest but we're we but, should be your number one news yes source. yes we Take know everything i say with a grain of salt but it's also fact mm-hmm. get a notepad write everything esteban is saying down yes yeah, I'm, like yeah. i'm like 
I think I'm getting the basic idea. I probably butchered everything. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Everything is probably so broken, but... You know what? I don't know. They ended up with a crap ton of Bitcoin. And the dude, he, he bought, like... It was billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin. Like the like, El Salvadorian yeah, leader? Like, like, yeah, like the government. Like, the whole government bought a crap ton of crypto. Or, like, Bitcoin. And they just did it? And then did they give it to the people? No, it's like... You know how, like, government has money? Yeah. All their money turned into cryptocurrency. Okay, but what did, That's like, so people, stupid, people who have money in El Salvador, I don't, I don't know. Like, can I, they still I don't use understand it? how it works. No, I think you can only do crypto transactions. So but does the everyone thing, just not have money? I don't know, but then... Like, that's so stupid because it fluctuates so much. Yeah, it's not so stable like, at what? all. So, like, what? Like, does the price of, like, an M&M pack, like, fluctuate with the crypto? Like, in the morning, it could be $8, it's and then like by gas. the end, it's, like, $2,000. I have no idea. Yeah, but gas is at least consistent. Not yes and no, but, like, it's semi-consistent, right? It's consistent enough. Like, it's not going to It's not going to turn into, like, $30 million a liter yeah. tomorrow. But, like, crypto just might, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, with crypto, it's, like, it could go from literally a dollar to a hundred bucks in a span of a month. I know. Yeah. I still, I like, people ask me to explain it sometimes. I don't I get can't it explain it, but I get it, if that makes any sense, right? Like, I, I, can, I, I understand why people use it, and I understand how it's used. I just don't know how to explain yeah, it. Yeah, like, I understand how you make money off of it. I just really don't get what it is. And you can explain it to me a million different times. I still won't get it. Because it's not, like, it's not something you could, like, your brain can't wrap around the thing of, like, it's not physical, right? Because, like, with currency... I'm sure it can, because people have invested well, yeah, in Bitcoin. No, 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 no. No, I guarantee you, everyone that invests in Bitcoin... It has no says, idea what it is. no idea what they're doing. Yeah. It's all Mark Zuckerberg just seeing how confused the human <laughs> mind could get. He, he's the only one who can understand it, because his brain is all zeros and ones. <laughs> yes. He, he's a lizard? That's... He's a cyborg lizard. Cyborg... This sounds like a Spider-Man villain. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Watch the next Spider-Man movie. I don't know who's gonna be the Spider-Man. Hopefully, Tom Holland again, Maybe the main Miles villain. Morales. That'd be pretty dope. Oh, he just shows up, you know? yeah, probably. He's a childish game, you know. Showed mm-hmm. up and yeah, he's yeah. his uncle, and now they hinted at it. Jamie Foxx being like, "If you were black, yeah, I'm sorry." <laughs> I, love I like the part where they cracked his back. Yeah, that was funny. That was funny. A lot of the, a lot of the memes and stuff, and just like interactions between all of them. Yeah. That was good. I still think my favorite line, and I told you this earlier, but it's when it, when Toby calls Andrew amazing. Yeah. I was dying laughing because I'm like, get it? Because his was the Spider-Man. only one that was called the amazing yeah. Spider-Man. And I found it so funny and like so niche and like, I only I understood that, but not everyone understood right. that. Yeah, no, but it was funny. I liked when, um, when Ned asked Toby Maguire, he said, <laughs> did you have a best friend? And he was like, yeah, he died tragically in my arms. And Ned was like, don't worry, Peter. I won't, I, I won't become a supervillain and try to yeah. kill you. It's funny because Ned in the comics is a hobgoblin, which is a bad guy. No. You didn't know that? I'm, I know Do you know every- anything about Spider-Man? DC, I'm good. I know, like, all the DC lore. Huh. Marvel, not so much. Huh. Well, yeah, Ned is the hobgoblin in the comics. He's, um, he's like Green Goblin except orange. That's crazy. Yeah. James Franco could have been the Hobgoblin in the Tobey Maguire movies. Because he's yeah. Green Goblin's... Was he? No. Nah, because, like, I just watched them, but it, they didn't. he didn't really get a name. He was just on the, the surfboard well, no, and attacked like, man well, What was his character's name again? Uh, Hewie. Yeah, right. That, I forgot about that. I love that one scene where it's him smiling in the cafe. The where, where he winks? He yeah. Disappears. Where did he go? I don't know. There's so many. Probably just ducked. Him. <laughs> <laughs> the dude at the cafe sitting next to him just sees him on the floor on all fours. Hey, what are you doing? Just like, like shaking <laughs> on the floor. What are you doing? It's for dramatic effect. Don't worry about it. There's so many cliches in the in those movies. Yeah. Like, if it was made today, I think people would just call it way too cheesy. But it's just because yeah. we enjoyed it so much in like our childhood yeah. that we liked it. But I don't know. The more I watch Tobey Maguire movies, the more I like lose respect for Spider Man. If that makes any sense. It's like I lose respect for his Spider-Man, but then at the same time, he's really funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> like, that sounds pretty mean, but you can't lie. Like, the movies are just so memeable. There's so much... Yeah. But the Andrew Garfield movies are so much better. Like, I remember everyone was like, nah, Andrew Garfield is too good looking to be Peter Parker. Everyone said he's too cool, right? Like, yeah. Peter Parker is supposed to be nerdy. Or... But he played a pretty decent nerd type dude. Because, okay, Peter's not a nerd. He's not an outcast, per se. He's just not, like, the popular kid. He's, he's just, just smart. Yeah. Doesn't mean that, yeah, he doesn't have yeah. to be a nerd. Like, Tom was a good... I really player. like Tom Holland. I think he nailed it. I just don't think there's been a bad Spider-Man, really. Um, like, Andrew 
Uh, not Andrew Garfield. Tobey Maguire just looked way too old, even when he was... He was in his 30s in Spider-Man 3. How old is he now? I think it's 47. Yeah, he's 47. Tobey Maguire. And he was age. playing, like, a first year in... Oh, 46. James Franco's 43. How old is it? Andrew Garfield? Guess. What, like, 32? 38. Oh, wait, no way he's 38. He's 38. <sighs> yeah. Dude's getting old. I don't like that. Tom Holland is 25. Yeah, I was about to say, he, he's got, he's got, like, not baby face, but he's, like, he could, could play a convincing teenager. Yeah. He's got, like, a versatile face, you know? He could look older or younger. Same with Andrew Garfield. Tobey Maguire looks, like, permanently like an old man. Mm-hmm. He has such big eyes, too. Yeah. I feel like they're bug-like. always staring into my soul. Yeah. Do you think Tom Holland can grow a beard? No. No? I don't think any of them could grow a beard. Tobey Maguire literally had a beard in that No. Movie. No? No. <laughs> it's it was CGI. <laughs> I was gonna say a toupee, but on his face. <laughs> <laughs> like a fake beard? Yeah, it's like a strap-on. You just clip it to your sideburns. <laughs> it's like, you know, like the hair extension clips where yeah. you like clip it? It's Except like it beard. goes around yeah. your face. And it's like, it's got like a little chin strap and you like tuck it into here. You really think they went through all that effort just to give... Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. The MCU does you not... You can't crew a beard. You... Yeah, no, he can't. Definitely just a... Yeah. Then Andrew Garfield... He had a little Peach bit. Fuzz. Yeah. Peach fuzz. He, he can't grow a beard. Tom Holland 100% can't grow a beard. He can barely get peach fuzz. Honestly. He is 25. No, but he's such a baby. <laughs> like, he seems like a child and a 25-year-old. I don't know. Tom Holland. I said How Tom old is he? That's he's like, I, I'm pretty sure he's older. Tom yeah, Holland. like, he looks older. I also love, like, I didn't know he was bald until, like, a year after the first Ooh. Spider-Man came out. Yeah, this looks real. Pardon? Yeah, no. That's like a perv stash, though. Save that so I could throw it up. Okay. But, whoa, I like his suit. Yeah, that Island Boy, whatever that was, that was something else. Yeah. So when did that when did that become popular? What, like early October? Wow. Yeah, no, but, I'm really behind. But they're still really relevant, though, because they're always doing like some dumb stuff. Like, they got kicked out of the low, like the Jake Paul fight against Tyron Wood. I guess we could talk about that since it happened not yeah, that long ago. Yeah, we should ago. talk about it. But this is going to be uploaded. That eh, doesn't matter. But We are Internet Explorer, after all. Yeah. You know we're very behind on everything. Yeah. Don't worry. It's blinking just saying the clip is being split into okay. two, but it's still recording. If you've been in a coma for a couple weeks... Our podcast is the thing oh, to listen to. Oh, it would to. be perfect. Yeah, it'll get you caught up on the things that happened in, in the last, like, while. Yeah. Because we're behind. We're living in the same time that y- you got yes. knocked out in. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. For yeah. sure. But, yeah, no, so these... The, the Tyron Woodley fight. So... I didn't watch it. I just saw the knockout. I think it's a mix of Jake Paul's getting better, without a doubt. And you can't deny it. Unless this is all scripted, which I wouldn't be surprised if it is, but I don't necessarily think it is. I... Like, I, I doubt, doubt it, it is, but if it was, I wouldn't be surprised because it's Jake like, Paul. Like, I wouldn't put it past him, yeah. Yeah. But, but he knocked think, him out. I think Tyron Woodley's just not good at boxing anymore. Like, he was pretty slop. Like, I'm not, I'm, like, I could not do no, Esteban, any better. No, no, Esteban's oh, no. challenging you to a fight right I'll now. I'll knock you out. Yeah. Anyone. Oh, if we get 20 likes on the last episode, we have to box, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be fun. Anyways... If we get 30 likes on this episode, we'll box Tyron Woodley. Yeah, we'll just show up to his house and just be like, bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say to Joe Byron right now? Nice. But nah, Tyron Woodley was not great in that fight. I, yeah, like I said before, I didn't see any I, of I it. I watched the highlights because I wasn't about to pay for the pay-per-view. I also didn't know the fight was happening. Yeah, me neither. I just, yeah. Same. Like, I knew it was happening and then I completely forgot mm-hmm. it was happening. But yeah, no, he's... He can definitely knock someone out. He's yeah. shown it how many times now? Two, Twice. three? Twice. Yeah. I mean, he's won a couple fights by knockout, but this was, like, second time, like, Where, lights like, out. Lights knockout. out, yeah. Like, he hit the floor. He hit the, the floor. floor. Tyron low, Woodley got low, 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 low. low yeah. Low. Probably getting a copyright strike for that, <laughs> even though we're not making money. Yeah. Just like we got copyright strike by, like, that one country artist. What was his name? Oh, Blake Shelton. Yeah. Wait, no, it wasn't Blake no, Shelton. It was, was like, um, Luke Bryan. Luke screw Bryan. you, Luke Bryan. All my <laughs> homies hate Luke Bryan. We all hate Luke Bryan. He, take, he takes all of our money that we're making from this podcast because we make so much. I'll fight you. Yeah, Luke we'll buy. Bu- <laughs> yeah. I think we could beat Luke Bryan in a fight. 
Bro, steal his Jack Daniels. Steal his John Deere hat, and we're good. Get, grab that fish hook and just like fish hook him. <laughs> Gone. Hunter, Hunter. Ha, uh-huh, because he's a fisher. Ha ha. Fishing. He's looking for fish just like he's looking for his dad. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Luke Bryan. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> talking about Gone. I've seen, like, 12 episodes of Hunter x Hunter. I don't remember any of them except for the fact that he was abandoned as a child. Yeah. Because his dad's like, nah, being a hunter is more cool. It is. Yeah. I'd do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Gone. <laughs> if my child is gone, I'd leave him, too. Yeah. He's kind of an ugly baby. Yeah. Just Killua going... was way more dope. I haven't even watched the show that much, but Killua is so sick. Karepika is the best character. If you've I watched Hunter is. Hunter, comment who your favorite is. Is that the dude is. in the Fen Troop with like the slick back hair? Nah, no. Who's that? That's Crollo. Crollo's uh, also. I like. See, there, there's this paradox that all Hunter Hunter fans feel. Everyone likes Karapika. Oh, yeah. And Karapika's mortal enemy is the Phantom Troop. Okay. But everyone also loves the Phantom the Troop. The Phantom Troop is cool, and I don't They're even know cool. who they are. So I like. I just like the girl with the vacuum. Mm-hmm, she's cool. Yeah. I like Hisoka and. Uh, I thought I was wearing that shirt for a second. I was wearing it before. I like Ahsoka and Krolo, and they're two relevant members of the Phantom Troop. But then Wait, Kur- Ahsoka's in the Phantom Troop? Yeah. He's he's only in it just so he can fight Krolo. But then Okay, Kur- I know nothing about the Phantom Troop except like they wear like black and stuff, but like Ahsoka's- Nah, they wear whatever they want. Ahsoka wears his colors. He's still flamboyant as ever. That doesn't seem right. I don't Wait. know anything about the show, but it doesn't seem right. I feel I'll like you're I'll lying show to you me, a no, even though yeah. I know you're not. But like, nah, you're lying to yourself. Oh, you see, you watch Hunter Hunter wrong. I haven't seen it yet, but I know you're wrong. Yeah, see, uh, this is all of them in their outfits. No, but they're also like cool looking. Oh, is that? That's Krolo. Uh, Very cool guy. Wait, so these are the two guys? Yeah. Hmm. So that's the dude I was talking about with the sl- not the slick back hair. I was Krolo. thinking E boy hair. Oh. I, I I like I merged them into one character. No. Levi was based off of him. And okay. Annie was based off of her. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like an e-boy. Mm-hmm. And then the other dude looks like a vampire. He looks like he works at Hot Topic, mm-hmm. but like next tier. He's like a manager. No, he's like, he created Hot Topic. He's Got like, it. he's the vampire. There's two types of vampires in this world. There's the Playboy Cardi vampire. And, and there's then the there's hot... hot Topic CEO vampire. Got it. Different types of vampires. You want what do you think the hot topic CEO looks like? You think he's he or she is a business person or looks like emo? They wear thinking. eyeliner. You think so? Are they a guy or a girl? I have no idea. Look it up. No, like what do you think? I think it's a guy. CEO. We'll pull up a picture of him. What? Steve Vrain. This guy looks like an NPC. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like his name is John Smith. If you go up to him and he'll he'll give you a side quest. What? Okay, wait, no. Who is it looks like he was born in two thousand and sixteen. The <laughs> topic founder. <laughs> Orville Madden. Okay, is that, it the girl? I think so. Go on images. Um. Oh uh, yeah. Wait, no. Oh, wait, what? Uh, mm. We'll just say that that. Yep, this touching. person right here. Okay, yeah. They're the, the, they're the hot topic founder. That looks more emo than, like, goth, but. I still don't know the difference, but. <sighs> Emo's like this dude. <laughs> I like how you hesitate, like, you huff before saying yeah. that, because. Emo's like Dobby. He's right here. Um, see, he likes MCR, but in secret. Um, yeah. He, okay. he's, he's Todoroki's brother, I think. Wow. You know what Todoroki is, right? He's, from um... The, half, the dude, like, yeah, he's got, like, burnt, okay. yeah. Yeah, I get him. Yeah. Is he also Bakugo? Or is that what? the blonde no, dude? No, Bakugo is... Bakugo is the dude with grenade hands. I don't... They you have... gotta watch My Hero just to bully it. That's Bakugo. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. The guy with the blonde hair. Oh, I, I honestly didn't hear you say blonde hair. <laughs> but yeah, Bakugo is something else. Deku. That's Deku. He's a sussy baka. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been well yeah. established. So... Emo is like listens to MCR. What's Goth. MCR? My Chemical Romance. Oh, okay. Goth listens to The Cure. You know The Cure? Like, Boys Don't Cry Cure. And it's like, uh. You have to realize how. It's like 80, It's an 80s band. How Cure. not well versed my music okay, taste I'm gonna is. I'm going to show you The Cure. The Cure. These guys are very goth. 
Just look at him. Uh, yeah, these are goth dudes. Their music is cool. But yeah, very goth. Goth is like they think they're a vampire. MCR, they wish they were Are weren't they just alive. sad? Oh, okay. Yeah. I get it now. No, goth is like you think you're a vampire and you're like weird. Like, I- I'm going to straight up say it. I don't care. If you're goth, you're weird. But like emo people, they're kind of just sad. Okay. They're also yeah, kind of weird. But like emo music is good. Goth music, I don't like it. The Cure is good though. That's the only good eat. Italian music is also really good. Yeah. Never you know, listen like, to Umberto Tozzi. See, there's th- Slaps. Th- there's three types of uh, sad hot topic workers: emos, goth, Italian mobster. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's like Robert De Niro. <laughs> we look up the the CEO and it's actually just like uh, it's, it's just Robert De Niro. Yeah. Joe Pesci. Yeah, I was about to do a Robert De Niro impression. And Go just, for it. No. Yeah, do no. it, do it, do it. I was do gonna it, do, do the do squinted it. face. Just I can't do, do it. a Robert I, De Niro impression. I can't do it. Just talk I can't with a do deep it. voice. What does Robert De Niro have? A, like a, a line? Like it's kind of just like you gotta speak like <laughs> raspy. You know? Yeah, that was good. And then you gotta like squint your eyes and like do a disgusted face. It's like you're gonna come here only buy two T-shirts. <laughs> Go back and buy two more. Oh, I would love to see Robert Robert De Niro would, like, force you to buy, like, the franchise. And then he'd be, like, sick. And he would give you a good deal for it, too. Yeah, but then he'd also take all your money. He'd be like, I'm not going to do an impression. No, do it, Robert. You made me do one. Yeah, but... It was awful. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Raspy voice and squint your face. Raspy voice, lower the voice, like... He'll be like... No, you got to do, like... <laughs> is that his face? Yeah, yeah, you haven't seen that? <laughs> I know what he Robert looks like. Robert De Niro. Just, yeah. Face. Face. I don't know why I forgot how to spell Oh, like that? It's, uh, it's like. He looks like when Emilio <laughs> says a joke to you. And. No, it looks like. You ever been to. Uh, what's it called? And then there's Carolina. That. No, what's that dude's name? Or not the dude. You ever been to Nino's? No, you know I the place across from my I know, oh, yeah. The dude working there, when you only buy one thing, oh, he makes that face. He's like, Ooh. why do you come here and only buy one thing? No, he'll be like... And then he makes me buy a drink, and I feel so threatened. Feel <laughs> There's like- this one place that we drive to on the way to my cottage, and it's called Charlie Brown's Video. And it's always... We've never seen a single person go in there. Oh, it's and, Money Laundry. And it's a video store, too, like renting videos, like Blockbuster. <laughs> and it's still in business. Solid. So we have always thought it's so sketchy. And uh, we've we've made all these like jokes about it that it's a mafia front because it de- is. definitely is. And we went in one time. It was so normal in there, almost too normal. Definitely a mafia front. Solid. Okay, then we're putting it off. We're talking about Formula One. Okay. So, as you know, we're Internet Explorer. This race was at least two weeks ago, and this is coming out in this three is months. About Henry Ford creating the the uh, what's that thing called? The thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, this Continue. is about Michael... Did you hear Michael Schumacher won for the first time? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's old racer guy. Oh, sick. So, uh... Where's Lewis Hamilton? What's he up to? So, we're getting to that. Sick. So, for the past... I don't know the number. I'm gonna say six or seven years. Lewis Hamilton has been untouchable. Wins almost every race. Has it, always won the drive. He's rigged? No. He's really good. Mercedes has a really fast car. I think... But, like, how does he never lose? We're getting to that. Oh, he lost. We're getting to that. (gasps) Suspense. (laughs) So, he's been untouchable for the last six or seven years. Then, recently, in the last few years, Max Verstappen from Red Bull. He's been... Ah, the Red Bull guys. Yeah, I I know them. I know them. Mm -hmm. Not really, but, like, a little bit. He's been getting closer and closer and closer. And this season... There's been so much that's happened, and Verstappen won a few races, and Red Bull's car this year was insane, too. I was able to keep, keep up with Mercedes, so... uh cylinders are in a... No idea. I know it's, like, some, like, Wait, is it weirdly like, like low Mario Kart, like, 200cc? No, 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 cylinders. I don't, I don't know. Like, the amount of pistons in the thing? I have no idea. What type of engine in F1? V6. Oh, they have a V6? Why did I think it was like an inline four or something like that? I don't know. Anyways. So. Yeah, continue. Just for reference, like, 
most cars have a inline four, so it's like four cylinders in a row. Nice cars have like a V6, like a nice, nice car would be like a V8. That's like what like muscle cars have. Then there's like monsters with like W12s. It's wow. like, it's like, I think some of them are Ws. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I don't think it is. But then there's also V12s, no like, like, like a Lamborghini. Lamborghinis have v, like okay, 12 okay. cylinders. Like I'll show you. 12 cylinders? Yeah. Okay. Like 12 pistons in a row. So a Formula or, not, 1 car a row, has, like has six. six. Yeah. So okay. it's two. Imagine six. Here, look, I'll show you. 12 <laughs> cylinder. Cylinder. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Engine. I think it's a W. Is that wow. a? No. I'm so that's I'm six wrong. per side. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Look at that. I see. I'm not going to put up a picture. Just imagine in your head it's a V and it's six on each side. But yeah. Anyways, okay. you're saying? So, Lewis Hamilton, untouchable. Verstappen, Wait, catching no, up. I want to know if it's 12. So ah. W12. It does exist. I knew it. See, I knew it. He knew it. I knew it. Anyways, you're saying? This year, Verstappen was getting super, super close. He won... He won a bunch of races. Hamilton won a bunch of races. The last race of the season, they're tied. They're tied in points, which is crazy. Like it came down to a decimal point. I don't remember what it was. We'll just say it was three hundred twenty-five point five points. That's okay. how much both of them had. Yeah. And uh, Hamilton had first place. I think he had pole position from the start. Okay. And he was leading the entire race. Because it's Hamilton. Because it's Hamilton. Then the last lap. Uh, Verstappen had, I think, newer tires. He got a pit change Solid. before Gucci. Hamilton. Nice. And so he was able to pass him on the last lap to and win. And Hamilton got shot. Yeah. His car exploded. <laughs> the just goes like... <laughs> and Verstappen won. So it's the first time in however many years that Hamilton's been beaten. And it was by... On the last lap, they were tied going into the race. It was just... It was crazy. That's gnarly. I, I wish know I watched nothing it. about F1, but, like, I know that Lewis Hamilton is just untouchable. And, mm -hmm. that, like, okay, I know enough to the point where, like, I knew that the Red Bull dude was getting better. Yeah. Like, I knew that because I, I watched, like, one race this season. I don't think I've watched any. I just watch documentaries and, like, see articles and stuff. See, I don't watch I started watch the watching races. the F1 series on uh, Netflix. It's so good. I, I found it good, but it's, like, over dramatic, and I kind of hate that. I feel like it is that dramatic, though. No, I, I know it's that dramatic. It just, I just hate, like, dramatic stuff like that. <laughs> so, like, I found it annoying. I'm like, damn, these dudes, just race the car, you know? I'm just like, I don't care about all this drama. Just go vroom vroom. Really? I, I enjoyed the drama a lot. No, nah, I just want to see him race. I just I mean, want to go, like, rrr, <laughs> like rrr. I've, I don't know if I've watched an F1 race from start to finish before, ever. Oh, no, I didn't watch it start to finish. I watched, like, 30 minutes, and then I got bored. Because, like... That's why I like racing highlights. Yeah. You, uh, it just shows the passes and the yeah. turns and the explosions Especially and all like, that stuff. I used to be really into NASCAR. I still kind of am, mm. but NASCAR is like the redneck version of like F1. F1 is so sick. I, yeah, I, F1's like prestigious. Like, if, like, you know the meme where it's like average car yeah. enjoyer and average car enthusiast? Can we please make this meme? Yes. So, average car enjoyer likes NASCAR, and he probably is from the Midwest or West Virginia. Virginia. And then there's a uh, average car enthusiast. Is that the one? Enjoyer. No, we know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of two. We could do two memes. Okay. Giga Chad and like that yellow like, dude. Yeah. So like the weak dude and then the Giga Chad. Or we could do, um, you know, like the the Winnie the Pooh one. The one where he's wearing the yes, top hat. Yes, 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 and then yes. Like, um, and then we got incompetent. Mm -hmm. um, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Yep. You could. I, I'm gonna make both memes. Boom. There's Giga Chad. Boom, Winnie the Pooh. Wow. Wow. But yeah, no. Like, I like NASCAR, but oh, you can't watch a NASCAR race. They're so boring. They're going it's in circles circle for like the entire eight time. hours. Yeah. But it's so sick. But it's not <laughs> at all. I just like the cars because, like, it's all muscle cars. Yeah. Or, well, not muscle cars, but, like, you know, it's like, it's stock car racing, you know? Do you know if in NASCAR, like, how Formula One, it's there's 10 teams and each team has two cars or is it just like individual racers in nascar no it's individual it racers I oh wow like i know it's not teams or at least i don't think there is but i just know that it's fun to watch and my favorite dude used to be dale earnhardt jr because that was the only dude i knew when i was like 10 years old that's a racer's name dale earnhardt jr yeah yeah he was in a dude perfect video oh he was like a ginger dude that sounds familiar yeah 
And then there's also this one guy. His name was like Kyle something. He drove the 18 cart, and his he was sponsored by M and M's. And I found it so funny. Let me pull up his car. Um, NASCAR 18. What's his name? See M and M car. What was his name? Oh wow. Kyle Busch. That he was. He really his name. was sponsored by M and M's. Yeah. I have one of his cars as like a toy. It was so sick. This no, you one. have one of his cars. Oh yeah, I I, I own that car. That's like this so one right cool. here. I'll throw it up on screen. But yeah. Now NASCAR is cool, but it's it's definitely the like. If F one is like premium grade alcohol, like. NASCAR is Budweiser. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Yeah. It's like. You know if, what I'm um, saying? Yeah. What's something controversial we could say if. If F1 is DC, then <laughs> then NASCAR, NASCAR is NASCAR is anime. <laughs> Just gets okay. everyone mad. No. You see, if if Jonathan was F1. Then Jorno is no, NASCAR. Yeah. No, I was thinking of like the most incompetent like uh, JoJo character. Okiyasu. <laughs> nah, but he's funny. Like, no redeeming traits whatsoever. Uh, Diablo would be like... Oh, I hate Diablo. I know, he's, he's such a bad villain. I know. He's, he's NASCAR. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's fair. Yeah. If Erwin is Formula One, then who's someone that no one likes? Everyone everyone is there, likable in no some way from Attack on Titan. It, it, Gabby's. G- Gabby's. Okay, then Gabby is... Oh, but Gabby's... <laughs> no, screw Gabby. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Like, she might be slightly redeeming. Nah, I don't care. She's so annoying. Okay. Fair. And there's Reiner. Ugh. I love Reiner. Poor dude. Florida Man story. Yep. I almost forgot. Bro, we're at 42 minutes. We're kind of on a roll. I this know. is like a jam-packed episode. Kind yeah. Of. Not and really, last episode was decent. good, too. Yeah. It's the lighting. It's look the how lighting. sick this look. I Don't know. lie to me right now. If you're so listening on audio, just just like watch it for 30 seconds just to see how nice the lighting <laughs> is, and then you could go back. <laughs> oh, we got a good one today, don't we? Okay. Florida man arrested for passing out blank because it was Christmas. Meth. So close. Uh, heroin? Marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> this is the picture of the dude. Hey. He's got so much hair for not having any hair in the center of his head. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, he's got, I know exactly. He's got what luscious saying. hair for being a balding person. Mm-hmm. I mean, good on him, though. It's the Christmas spirit. It's that meme. It's like he's he's a little confused, but he got the spirit. He's on he's on another spirit. <laughs> uh, Florida man has been arrested after he was accused of passing out marijuana to people passing by for the holidays. Uh, officers said they were called to the scene by a witness. Uh, he told them he was handing out marijuana because it was Christmas. Good for him. At least he's honest about it. And people are usually very protective of like their weed and stuff. Yeah. So. At least he was being nice about it, handing it out to people. Good for him. Yeah. I can respect that. Nice. I don't respect that. How would, like... What's the charge on that? Because... Marijuana is not illegal. It's not illegal. But at the same time, if it's to a minor, that could be an issue. But if it's to someone of age, what would you charge them with? Like, I guess since it's a drug... I don't know. It, it'd be well, like, you have to accept it, right? He wasn't forcing people to take it. Yeah, right? Because Imagine like, it, it's it, like it, a flyer. It, it, yeah, no. I was thinking, like, imagine going up to someone and just being like, yo, you want a beer? That's not illegal. Right? That's fine. Like, what would you charge... Like, what do you get charged with? Like, what's the charge? There's anything else here? No. Doesn't... Doesn't say. That's doesn't it. That's the, that's the whole article. It was literally three paragraphs. What? Yeah, no. What would he the charge... He was in possession of... <laughs> it's probably the amount he had. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is so out of nowhere, but such a Florida thing. Was in possession of 45 grams of marijuana. Okay, that's And a hidden sword in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> so he's. Okay, wait. No, I, I'm laughing at the sword, but like, okay. what's the legal amount of weed you could carry on you? Legal amount. I'm imagining one of those canes. Weed. He just pulls it out, okay. and it's like a spear or it's something. A, yeah, 30 grams. Okay, I was about so to say, that, that, that's probably weed. what he was arrested for. Still, but that's, that's a lot of weed. so awesome. <laughs> that's like a Kingsman thing. Yeah, like, no, that, that's what I was thinking. You remember that one scene in the Kingsman where the, he's got the staff? Yeah. It, yeah. I was, no, I, it'd be like, I feel like he gets arrested, and it's like, you got anything on you? And he's like, oh, I got a sword. <laughs> and they're like, it's where? Like, what? And he's like, oh. 
<laughs> right in the middle of the police station. <laughs> American cops be like, <laughs> too controversial, my bad. We're like the least political podcast. I'm just making jokes, okay? Okay. Take, yeah. take everything I say with a grain of salt. Yeah. Joe Mama. Bing bong. Joe Byron. I... We go from politics to just yelling Joe Byron. <laughs> Por qué? Por qué? Do, 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 do. Okay, we're going to put up on, like a meme on screen. Ready? Three, two, one. Why are we doing this? We don't have a green screen. I mean, we keep going like that. It's going <laughs> it's, over us. It's so that they can still see our faces and the meme. Yeah. You think more people listen or watch? I feel more people listen to it all the way through, but we get more views than we do listeners. Yeah. Well, I listen to my podcasts on YouTube, but I don't watch them. Like, I'll be drawing oh. or something, and I just have it there. Yeah. I don't know, because we don't have that many listeners, but almost all the listeners we have listen all the way through. Oh, thanks. Like, it's, it's only, like, four or five people at max. So like, that's pretty sad to say out loud, but I really don't it's care. It's okay. Like, we're not I just going, do this for fun. We're not going for 30 million viewers, okay, no, right? Yeah. But, like, most of them listen all the way through, or, like, almost all the way through, or, like, stop halfway and then actually pick it up and continue. Nice. So, like, at least that's good. Thanks. Like, and analytics, they're not great, but the few listeners we got do listen. Are loyal. Yeah. So we we're got up to like 0. 0.7 of a cent. So like we're, we're getting up, up we're there. We're 0.3 of a cent. 0. 0.7 of a cent. That's almost a full cent. Yeah. Wow. Are we going to split that 50-50? Like you get 50% of a cent, I get 50% of a cent. We should just drop out of school and podcast full time. Yeah. I really think. What's your annual salary? Yo, <laughs> 0. 0.5 of a cent. Of cent. Like 50 cents? Nah, homie. Like I ain't even got one cent. It's like half a cent. Half a cent. It's all you need to live. It's a myth that you need to be making more than half a cent a year. Yeah. 50k salary? I mean, yeah, 50k salary? Yeah. Pfft, forget about that. I need... More like 5.50 of a cent salary. salary. <laughs> bing bong. I think this I'm, is a I'm good over place bing, to end it. Over bing bong. Yeah. I don't really got much to say. We're almost at 50 minutes. A lot of this is a lot... Of, we're, it's not going to be close to 50, 50 minutes, minutes. We've said some stuff that we got to cut. For sure. <laughs>